Hello everyone and welcome to a very basic favorites video. Roll intro. So I was just scrolling and I can't even find the last time I did a favorites video. It's easily been two years, I think, which is insane because pretty sure that's all I used to film. So we're throwing it way back here. If you love favorites videos, be sure to like this video, subscribe, hit the bell, do all those things. So uh, we're just gonna dive right in to um, probably, let's do, what should we do? Let's do a weird one vases. At some point I became a vase hoarder. I don't know when, but my family is really into sending each other flowers. And so with that comes a lot of vases. And here's two of my absolute favorites. You guys are going to laugh because they're very similar. This one is from Urban Outfitters. It is a female's bottom half. <laughs> this is just the cutest little thing. This was actually gifted in a PR package and it made me laugh because here, what I'm about to show you, is my absolute favorite vase that I purchased for myself. I showed you guys this vase in a vlog not that long ago. This is by Anissa Kermiche. I probably just butchered her name, but um, I'll have her linked down below. Again, female body is stunning, but like, I just love the simplicity of this. I think it's super classy. I think it's also just like elevated. And it really, I think takes just like the level of my home decor and just, lifts it up a little bit. Um, so pretty. I have this in my room on the top of one of my shelves and you guys are constantly asking me where it's from. Even though I showed you in a vlog before, I thought I'd bring it into the favorites video just so you guys can see it. I'll have the link for everything in this video <laughs> down below, but she's pretty and I'm a fan and I think I'm starting a collection. TikTok has changed me in multiple ways. If you did not know, I am on TikTok. I'm not the best at TikTok, but I'm getting there. I'm getting comfortable. One of the things that TikTok has taught me is the brow glue by NYX. And this is something that changed my life. This gives me the best, closest to looking laminated brow look that I can find. I did a I'm whole done. TikTok on it and I'm a fan. It's not even $6. It's so cheap. It's worth every penny. As you guys know, I don't tan. I never have tanned really well. So I'm a big self tan person. I have a couple of self tan favorites and I'm going to give them to you now. This is the Saint Tropez Gradual Tan Watermelon Infusion Tanning Lotion. This goes on clear. I love how it smells. It goes on easy and I've been using it for over a year and I will continue to use it for the foreseeable future because really big fan of this. Something that I did purchase at the top of last year when I was trying to find a good tanning situation was the Tan Lux Body Illuminating Skin Drops. This is really cool. You can just add this to any lotion and it will be a self tanner for you. It probably sounds complicated, but it's not. All you do is squeeze lotion into your hand, add a couple of drops to that lotion and apply the same amount of drops to each body part. So if you're going to put four drops on your right leg, you have to put four drops on your left leg and vice versa, like all over the place. This goes a very long way. It doesn't take a lot and it's buildable, which is really cool. And then you can also do this daily. So I actually really like this a lot too. This is also the most travel friendly one that I've found, period. I have been on a journey of trying to not use makeup wipes as often. Everyone always says you shouldn't pull on tug on your skin. And I do that all the time. So I know not using a makeup wipe is one of the best things you can do. I will go ahead and say that I still use makeup wipes, but what I have been trying to do is find like the perfect balm to take off my makeup. And so far, Sunday Riley's Blue Moon Tranquility Cleansing Balm is the ticket for me. I have tried a few of them and I just felt like it didn't get everything off. This one, however, has the tiniest little bit of exfoliating beads that actually kind of like melts into your skin also. So when I rub that onto my makeup, I actually feel like it is getting every little last drop of foundation and mascara and everything off. And it doesn't take a lot of like rubbing. I just very gently massage it into my skin and my makeup's gone. So really big fan of this. I'm trying to make this more of a 
part of my routine, even though I, I love makeup wipes, I really do. New favorite skincare product is Bad Habits Eyes Open Caffeine Peptide Eye Cream. This is an under eye cream that is caffeinated that you can put on during the day, you can put it on at night. Um, I put it on every single morning underneath my makeup or even if I'm not wearing makeup. This is constantly on. I've been using it for almost three weeks straight and I'm a really big fan. I actually unboxed this on a video on this channel and I've been using it ever since. I definitely recommend this if you feel like your eyes need to kind of pop a little bit. I really do notice a difference under my eyes. It's almost immediate because it's kind of tinted as well. Not only does it like actually caffeinate and like open up your eyes and make them look bigger, but it brightens them as well. So huge fan of that. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you totally should. Because I asked you guys if I should get this hair oil on Instagram and if you guys thought it was overpriced, if you thought it was worth it, all of those things, which you guys were very honest about. You guys said it was definitely overpriced and not worth it. So unfortunately, <laughs> I had already purchased the product. Obviously it is here in my hand. I will say, I think it's a great hair oil. I like it a lot. Is it overpriced? Yes, because I have plenty of hair oils that I would compare and say they're, they're pretty much similar. I know this one is, is supposed to be kind of healthier and made from honey. It does smell incredible. I will say that. I like it a lot, but this is definitely a splurge item and <laughs> I'm just gonna say it, I love how this looks. The packaging is everything and I just love it sitting in my bathroom. So part of me is like, maybe this is also a decor piece. Or maybe I'm just trying to justify me spending this much money on this one product. We interrupt today's video with a sponsor because I have a sponsor for today's video, which is just fantastic and we love that for me. Today's video is sponsored by Upstart. I've worked with them in the past. I'm going to work with them in the future because I think money, knowledge is crucial. Upstart is the fast and easy way to get a personal loan to pay off your debt all online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get a simple, fixed monthly payment. With a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans from 1,000 to $50,000 guys. So wherever you are in between that, Upstart has you covered. And loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. And my favorite part is you can get approved the same day and receive funds as fast as one business day. They work quick. So find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today by going to upstart.com slash Ashley, A-S-H-L-E-Y. Again, that's upstart.com slash Ashley. And don't forget to use my URL so that they can know that I sent you. And let's go ahead and continue on with the video. Let's move on to favorite bag. I have so many bags in my life. I switch them out constantly, but something that Alicia got me for my birthday was something that I've been wanting for a very long time. And it is this Balenciaga fanny pack. I feel like my bougiest self when I have this on, but it's so casual and I love it. I can wear this with a fancy dress. I can wear this in a sweat set. I can wear this looking like an absolute bum and I feel like top, like I feel tops and I love it. This is actually a men's bag. Um, so it's a little bit bigger than the female fanny packs, I guess, but I like that. I'm just obsessed. I wear it constantly. I feel like it just elevates all of my outfits, even when I'm not trying. So huge fan of this. Moving on to smells. Uh, I'm obsessed with all things that smell good. And I'm obsessed with all things that have a gender neutral smell. I don't like super fruity. I don't like super florally. I like very like earthy smells and I always have. Le Labo has some of the best scents on the planet. Te Noir is my favorite perfume. I wear it every single day and I will continue to wear it every single day for the foreseeable future because I love it so much. My other favorite scent from theirs, however, is Scent Hall 33 and I love specifically when guys wear it. It's just, oof, it smells so good. But they have a Santal 26 candle that is very similar to the Santal 33 scent. I love it a lot. TK actually gave me this for my birthday. It's my favorite smelling candle. This is actually my like special candle. So I only light this on special occasions or if I'm having like a full on like spa movie night in my bedroom by myself this year, this is the candle that I light. And then because my friends love me and know me so well, Taryn Renee actually got me this for my birthday. 
Le Labo has a diffuser that is this beautiful beaker style diffuser that I'm not kidding guys is $600 and not worth it in my opinion. But she was so sweet. She went online and she found a very similar style diffuser for a lot cheaper, hello. She bought me the diffuser drops. So all you do is drop a couple of drops in this beaker and light this candle and it'll smell the whole room up with, guess what? The same scent, Scent Hall 26, it smells incredible. You guys are gonna laugh, but I have another scent that I wanna share with you guys. This is from Urban Outfitters. Their room sprays, don't be sleeping on their room sprays. They're incredible. This is the Teakwood and Tobacco Room and Linen Spray. I've talked about this in videos before. It smells so good. It smells so fresh. You guys are constantly asking for the link, so I thought I would also just throw this in the video. I had the smaller one, and I went through it so fast, so I ordered the giant one because I just can't get enough of it. For 2021, I wanted to read more. I'm gonna be honest. I'm not doing that great. <laughs> I have read a few things and I have a favorite so far. I am currently in the middle of reading Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. This is his kind of life story and advice on what he's learned through his life so far. He has had an incredible life. Like what he's learned, the experiences he's gone through is actually very um, inspiring and obviously is a huge figure in most people's lives. He's in some of my favorite movies and TV shows and has just grown a lot and has a lot of experience to share. And I think this is a very well-written, beautiful story. And I think everyone should read it. It is such an easy read. It's perfect for right before bed. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been wearing that much eyeshadow all of 2020 and 2021. But if I had to pick a favorite, hello, pretty basic eyeshadow palette. I am not saying this because she's my sister. I am not saying this because it is sponsored in any way or that she made me. This is genuinely one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes I've ever had because the colors are the most natural and beautiful colors that I have ever seen. And that's just my style when it comes to makeup anyways. I just think this is a perfect palette and I can't stop using it. I use it all the time. Whenever I have to get ready now, this is my go-to palette and I just had to say that. You guys already know how obsessed I am with my new jewelry box. It is beautiful and I love it so much. I've shown all my friends. I already unboxed this for you guys on this channel already, but I thought I would, you know, mention it again because I love it that much. It is a huge favorite. This is a gorgeous jewelry box by Majuri. It has three levels in there. That's all stackable. It's just the most aesthetic thing in my room right now, in my opinion. Really, really, really obsessed with this jewelry box and I won't stop screaming about it. One of my favorite YouTubers on the planet, her name is Hey Claire. She recently kind of stopped making YouTube videos and it breaks my heart, but I'm still very much obsessed with her and I still follow her on Instagram. And she posted back in like October, a pair of these sandals. Her and her friends were wearing them and I was like, those look so comfortable, I want some. And then I was like, well, actually it's like, coming up on Christmas, I bet Alicia would like these. So I got Alicia a pair of these for Christmas. I loved them so much, cause I tried them on obviously, that I bought myself a pair. And then I went ahead and bought Miss Remy Ashton a pair. And now we all have Sudies and they're so squishy and comfortable. I wear them constantly. The move is to wear socks with these and game changer. It feels like you're walking on a cloud legitimately. I love the color of them. I love how aesthetic they are. They're only like, $30, so they're really cheap, but they kind of look like Yeezys. So I don't know. All I can say is that I wear these every single day and I can't get enough of them. Something that you guys are constantly asking about, and I've shown you guys in vlogs before, but it's a constant comment in all of my videos and any of them that show my bedroom is where I got this clock. This is my Cloud Nola clock. I got it from Urban Outfitters. I think it was at the top of quarantine last year, so probably almost a year ago. And I'm, obsessed with it. I show it in almost all of my vlogs. I take pictures of it constantly. I love the vibe that it gives. It is just super cool, super dope looking. I will say when it flips, it does make a little sound and sometimes it's loud. It's not the minute ones that are loud, it's the hour ones 
that are loud. I personally am used to it now and I don't even notice it anymore. But when people come into my room, they'll be like, does that get annoying? Do you notice it at night? And I definitely did. So be forewarned if you <laughs> have trouble sleeping or you are skittish at night, maybe I wouldn't get this clock. I got over it really quickly and I'm used to it now. So if you don't mind a little ticking sound, this is a really cool clock and I love it. That is where it's from. You're welcome. <laughs> and last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and talk about sweats because if you are wearing anything else but sweats these days, uh, who are you? I've acquired a lot of sweats over the last 12 months. My absolute favorite sweat set right now is by Elle Wood. This is a brand that I recently discovered a few months ago. I'm actually wearing the sweat pants themselves right now. They are so baggy and comfy. They come up really high in the waist. I love the color. This is actually like a dark faded black. But yes, this is my absolute favorite sweat set. I will be purchasing more of them in every color once they're back in stock, but they're currently out of stock right now. So waiting on that. And that is everything that I have to show you guys for favorites for all of 2020 and 2021. If you guys wanna see more favorites videos, let me know. I probably won't be doing one for a while since I just showed you like all of my favorite things. I will see you guys in uh, the next video, which will be coming soon. Okay.